Hello everybody, um, doing a, an all-American classic today. Um, I've never had this. It's Anchor Steam Beer. Um, I've had Anchor Porter before, but that, that was a while ago. Um, made in San Francisco since 1896. American craft beer. Um, it's uh, also the predominant type of beer in America is lager. Although this is by no means lager, um, it is brewed using lager yeast, I understand. Um, and it dates, I mean, there's been the same sort of brewing method since well back into the 1800s. And um, they were the, at the time, the only people making steam beer. And it seems to be, the steam beer is a style, and I'll explain what that means in a minute, is a style on the west coast of America. This is from San Francisco, California. Um, and uh, they, they've made Anchor, the Anchor Brewing Company made term steam beer their trademark because they're the you know the, the the kings of it I guess um, like I said at one time they, they were the only people making it um, like I said it uses lager yeast um, although it's not a lager um, it's basically if you, if you think about lager, <coughs> lagering like deepest darkest cold Bavaria in Germany for example they um, in the old fashioned primitive methods. Obviously nowadays it's all steam, it's all you know temperature controlled vessels and things. But back in the the olden days it wasn't. Um, so the, the Germans used to store the lager in caves. They used to lager it in cold icy caves. Back in the days when they were making this, um, when they didn't have all the technology they have nowadays, they um, they didn't have that luxury of. Although it's like I say it's not a lager, they still wanted it to be fairly cold. But they didn't have the luxury of the, that cold climate. They had warm temperatures. So um, their method of cooling, they used to ferment it in, um, rather than big deep vessels, they used to ferment it in wide but really thin um, shallow vessels um, that allowed it to cool quicker. Um, and the resulting beer was a, a very lively beer. Um, although not a lager, it was a very lively beer. And the term steam beer, there's a couple of um, theories as to why it's called steam, but the main one is basically when they used to, it says something briefly on the side of here, but it doesn't go into detail, but basically um, if when they went to tap the casks at the end, the beer was that lively, they produced you know enough CO2 to make it look like steam was flying out of the the uh, the cask when they, uh, they knocked the pin into it or whatever or the tap, um, hence the name steam beer, and so it's Anchor's trademark. Um, so we're going to see what it's like. It's 4.8% on the ABV. Um, it's a 355ml bottle, which is an unusual size, but there you are. Um, just straight lager glass. Well, I suppose it's a lager glass, just straight glass. Um, yeah, not bottle condition, so we'll go halves and get a smell, and I'll top it up afterwards to taste. Not that much of a fizz there, to be honest. I'm not getting a whole lot of steam. So, uh, <laughs> I suppose that's, like I say, it's just in the casks and things after it was first brewed. Oh, it does smell nice though. Mmm. You can tell it's brewed using lager, lager yeast, it's got a bit of a lager smell to it. But anyway, let's uh, get a bit in there. Oh, easy on the head. Said that a few times. Well, that'll do for time being. It's uh, well carbonated by the looks of it. Um, it, it looks it's a deep amber. It looks really light bodied and quite flimsy. It, it looks like a lager. I'm stressing this fact, it's not a lager. It looks like a lager. Um, nice and deep and amber. Slightly off white head, but we'll see that more when I've poured it properly. Let's just get a smell. Mmm, sweet malt. Bite of hop at the end there. Got a very refreshing smell to it. A very fresh smell. Very fresh. And very lively smelling beer. That smells lovely actually. Do you want to have a pong of that quickly? Sounds like lager. <laughs> I knew she was going to give me a bland answer. It does, no, it does. It smells like a really deep, complex lager. Samuel Adams Boston Lager is the nicest lager I've ever had. That is a lager. But that, that's almost like an IPA. It's that complex and nice tasting, but this isn't a lager, yet funnily enough, because it uses the lager yeast, it smells like one. But a really rich, fruity, zesty, fresh lager. Bit of yeast on the nose. Caramel malt. 
and a bit of bitterness from the hops at the end. It smells fine, let me tell you. Let's get the rest of this in without it. I'm not going to get this all in the glass because it's, it's probably only on about 330 mils. This is 355, so I'm just. Get a decent looking head, and I'll put this down. There we are. That looks fantastic, don't you think? It's quite a loose head, really. Uh, it's got fairly tight bubbles, but it's got a lot of big blur, blobby bubbles. So it's, it's dissipating quite quickly. You're not going to get any lacing from this. Um, yeah. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Very light body and refreshing. Um, I've served it cool. Could have done with being a bit colder, maybe, but uh, it recommends 8 to 10 degrees. Uh, it doesn't say that on the bottle, I've just looked that up. This is probably about maybe 9 or 10, so. You do get a bit of sweetness going there, but the initial taste on your tongue. I say initial, have a couple of sips and then to get really taste, and then you, you taste the coppery bitterness from the hops on your tongue. You taste it right to the finish as well. And the middle it's almost like caramel malt, almost maybe a little bit banana -y. Fresh tasting. Very, very light bodied. It is, it almost does taste like a lager, but a really refreshing one. Um, a really, really taste, tasteful one. Yeah, full of taste. Bit of bready yeast in there as well. Just slightly. And then you do get a the sweetness with that bready malty yeastiness. And that immediately goes into a dry, quenching, metallic, hoppy uh, finish to it. See that head's gone now. Yeah, oh, there's a lot of quenching hops in the back. It's really, really fragrant, fruity hops. Um, there's no real list of the ingredients on this. It doesn't tell you what sort of hops are in it or anything like that. Good old San Francisco. Might have to give another one of these a try as well. It's only 4.8%, like I said, so it's just a nice sipping beer. Uh, a nice sort of quaffing beer, if you feel like quaffing. But I would just relax with this, to be honest. It's lovely, even though it's light and light-bodied. And you can easily drink it. It's very drinkable. Bit of gas, sorry. Um, you can tell it's lively just looking at it. So you can, you can quite imagine a lot of steam coming out of the barrel. Um, yeah. You don't get so much caramel malt on the on the taste as you do on the nose, but it's um, it's very very quenching, fruity. Bitter hop finish and a uh, certain sweetness there as well. Almost like a candy like sweetness. Quite a, like, like it's light bodied, like I say, but it's quite a creamy feel in the mouth if you give it a good give it a good wash. Um, yeah. Well, I'm just going to pour the rest of it in so you can see that head one more time. Try and get a bigger one this time. There you go, that's the rest of it. Yeah. Anchor Brewing Company, Anchor Steam Beer. Definitely worth, worth uh, checking out, particularly if you like things like Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, that's a good one as well. It's nice and hoppy, almost like an IPA. In fact, this does taste almost like an IPA in its hoppiness, but then you get the, the fruitiness of a, a good ale and then the crispness of a lager. It's quite unique, it's light bodied and it's refreshing and it's lovely. Yeah, it's got a certain creamy feel as well. Anchor Steam Beer from San Francisco, California. Eddie says hi. Cheers. <laughs>